all right you guys i hope you are doing well and i have already made a video on this but now i have added too many features in my extension to a point where it's completely look different now so in this video i'm going to cover all about the new features that i have added in my extension and we are going to do all from the scratch okay so let's get started so first we need to download the extension so to download it just go to the link that I have provided in the description just click on this file and it will get downloaded okay so once the file is downloaded just go to the folder where you have downloaded it and extract this zip file to a folder okay so I have extracted this to end folder now go back to your browser and serve to this URL chrome colon slash slash extensions so now make sure that developer mode is enabled from here now click on load unpack now go to the folder where you have just selected this file now select that folder and select so the extension is now installed now go to the coin website and quickly log in yourself so once you are on this dashboard now click on schedule you may choose search by pin or search by district so if you are on search by district select your state and district and if you are on search by pin then enter your pin and click on search so you will be able to see the list here now I will take you to the extension so basically what my extension will do is it will keep on refreshing this list and you can specify after how much second this list will be refreshed you can specify that here refresh in if you leave this option empty it will by default refresh in 5 seconds so the next option is skip days so if you choose skip days 1 then it will ignore the slots in the first column and it will start searching the slots from the second column and let's say if you put it 2 it will just ignore the first two columns and it will start searching from third column next is age if you are 18 plus just keep it here and if you are 45 plus then toggle over here so next is only free so if this option is enabled it will only choose the slots which are free i will come to the auto submit in a few moment the next is vaccine so it will filter out the list based on whatever you have choose here next is fast forward if this option is enabled during the refreshing any free slot is available it will automatically choose the slot and fill the timing that you will specify here and and it will automatically fill in the captcha but it won't submit it and if the auto submit is enabled then it will also submit it by yourself so basically if both fast forward and auto submit are enabled you don't need to do anything everything will be done by the extension and if the fast forward is disabled it won't do anything by itself it will just warn you by an audio message if any free slot is available now i will show you a quick demo how to use this extension so open the extension i want to refresh in every two seconds i want to skip one day that is today I want the slots for 45 let's say and I want only free slots I don't want to auto submit it and let's say I don't want Covishield and I would like to enable fast forward and the slots I need is 15 to 17 and now I will just click on start you are logging for co when website is expired Please re-login to continue using VAC Assist extension. Oh, oh. 
so this is another feature of my extension if uh, the govin website logs out you it will inform you by sending this uh, voice message okay i have logged in again and i have filled the options of this extension and click on start so you can see that this list is automatically get refreshed and it has already applied the filters that you have described in the extension now if you want to stop this list to refresh it automatically you can click on stop and it will stop refreshing now i'll modify some options and start again hey vaccine slots are open vacassist is trying to book a slot for you pay attention so as you can see here it has given me an audio message and it has automatically selected the slot timing it has automatically filled the captcha and you need to click on confirm as i have disabled auto submit it hasn't submitted itself so why i have put here if you want to confirm the center or date what you have allocated you can review it yourself and then you can submit it by yourself so i hope you will able to book vaccine slots very easily with this extension and if you like this extension please let me know by leaving a thumbs up to this video and i will see you in the next video